In this video, we're going to write a C program to read a specific line from a file. So for example, I have this file here called file.txt with these five lines in it. We want our program to be able to read one of these lines. And we'll actually ask the user for the line number as well as the file name. So let's implement this now. The first thing we'll need is a file pointer variable. So we'll say file star file. We'll also need character arrays to store the file name as well as the actual line of the file. We'll define some constants to define the size of these character arrays. So we'll see number define file name size 1024 because 1024 characters should be plenty to store a file name. And then we'll say number define max line 2048 because that should be plenty of characters for any line of a file. Then we'll create these character arrays. We'll say car file name file name size and car buffer max line. We'll also need a variable to store the line number that we're going to read in. So we'll say int read line is equal to zero. So next we're going to ask the user for the file name as well as the line that they want to read from that file. So we'll say printf file to prompt the user for the file name. And we'll use scanf to store what they enter into the file name character array. We'll also prompt the user for the line number to read in. So we'll say read line and then scanf percent D and read line. Next, we'll try to open the file with this file name. So we'll say file is equal to f open file name and then R. So f open is going to open the file with this file name. And the second argument here, the R in a string, is going to open it up in reading mode. So we can read from the file and F open is going to return a file pointer that we're going to store into file. Now, if F open can't open the file, it's going to return null. So file would be set to null. And if file is null, we're going to want to stop right here because we can't proceed if the file hasn't been opened correctly. So here we'll say printf error opening file, and then we'll return one. We're going to return one to terminate the execution of our program because returning one is actually a signal to the shell here, to the terminal, that something went wrong in the execution of our program. So next we're gonna keep reading each line from the file until we either find the line that we're looking for or until we reach the end of the file. We'll actually create a Boolean variable to help us deal with these two possibilities. And I'll include stdbool.h so I can make a bool type variable. So down here, I'll say bool keep reading is equal to true. And that's going to keep track of whether we should keep reading the file or not. We'll also make a variable to keep track of what line of the file are we currently reading. So we'll say int current line is equal to one because we're going to read the first line of the file first and then the second line and so on. And we'll do this so long as keep reading is true. So we've got a do while loop and it's going to keep doing whatever we put in here until keep reading is no longer true. So we'll say f gets buffer max line file. What this is going to do is read the next line of the file into the buffer character array. And it will read up to max line number of characters from this file here. So next we'll check to see if we've either reached the end of the file or if we found the line we're looking for. So if feof file returns true, that means we've reached the end of the file. So at that point, we'd set keep reading to false to stop reading from the file. We'll also tell the user how many lines the file is and remind them what line number we were looking for. So we'll say printf file percent D lines and we'll output current line minus one because that's how many lines long the file is. And we'll say printf couldn't find line percent D slash N and we'll output the read line that we were looking for. The other possibility we want to check for is what if we found the line? So what if the current line is equal to the read line? If that's the case, we've just read exactly what we were looking for into the buffer and we want to stop reading the file here as well. So we'd set keep reading equal to false and we'll print out the line. We'll say printf line slash n percent s 
and we'll put the line that's in the buffer. We're also going to want to increment the current line each time our do while loop body executes. Because every time the do while loop body executes, we're going to be reading in a new line of the file. Now, when this is all done, we are going to want to close our access to the file. So we'll say F close file. And we'll save this. And that should be it. So let's compile our program now and we'll give it a test. So I'll say file.txt and we'll say read line three and we get line three. We'll try line one and we get line one. We'll try line five and we get line five and we'll try something out of bounds. Let's try to read in line six. We get file five lines and that we couldn't find line six. And so this is how we can read a specific line from a file in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.